Llegando su Martina. For Roberto Mondragón, Songs Tell Stories. I was raised by, pretty much by my grandfather on my mother's side. Part of his life was singing songs also. He probably learned some of those songs from his grandfather. Que viva la marcha, a lot of the other ones were songs that he remembered when he was a child, and then some of them were, were love songs. You know, one was called Adios Mi Chaparrita. Chaparrita, his girlfriend, I guess, was kind of short. That Chaparrita means short. And so then, uh, and so the song was, Ya no llores, chaparrita, ya no llores por tu pancho, que si se va del rancho, muy pronto volverá. So he's saying, you know, don't cry because I'm leaving. If I go away from the ranch, I'll come back soon. You know, so little simple messages that go into a song like that. There's a dicho that says, El que canta, su mal espanta. That he who sings scares bad feelings away. Tengo un carro muy paseado, que el que no lo ha experimentado, no lo puede hacer rodar. Y no más tomo yo el asiento, se levanta como el viento, casi lo hago hasta volar. Tiene los tenders ladeados y los tires bien gastados, tiene el techo de cartón. So I had three sisters and three other brothers, and they would have songs that they really enjoyed also, that they would sing together and in harmony. I remember one that just pops up and it's, there once was a farmer who took a young miss in back of the barn where he gave her a lesson on horses and chickens and eggs and told her that she had such beautiful manners that suited the girl of his charms and they would get married and raise lot no <laughs> something like that you know the girl that he wanted to take in his washing and ironing, and if they did, that they would get married and raise lots of sweet violets, sweeter than the roses, covered all over from head to toe, covered all over with sweet violets. 
Well, the songs are actually about real happenings. Most of the songs that I like to sing about have to do with water and land, with the soil, with farms and ranches, uh, the way of life that most people throughout the state of New Mexico, it doesn't matter what their origin, enjoy doing. There are sometimes songs that bring the community together. I wrote a song called El Corrido de la Cienega, the Ballad of La Cienega. Several people contributed ideas on what to put down there, which was, you know, these were the traditions that uh, we have known. This is how the water is important. If too much development takes place, the water gets dirty, and you're going to have uh, golf courses in the area that'll, that'll lower the water level in the ground, and that's not good. It brought the community together and they, you know, got petitions and opposed that big development and it didn't happen. That song uh, used the idea of the Milago Beanfield War in order to tell people, don't let the same thing happen to you here. Some of the happenings that are sung have to do with tragedies, you know, about the Vietnam War about a tragedy that happened inside of a mine or something like that. And, you know, because of the fact that love is such an important part of life, uh, there are a lot of them about love. La canción El Corrido del Ranchero Tomás. It's a love triangle. It's a ballad of a love that went wrong because of jealousy. Al lado de ese cerro en un rancho feliz Y ya reinaba la paz Cuidando su interés para hacer su vivir Vivía aquel ranchero llamado Tomás Martina era la joven a quien tanto el amor La linda rancherita que crió a Don Pascual Y cuando fui a... A Tomás por ahí salía a tirar grancitos a su pavo real. El viejo Don Pascual reponaba el amor y entre Martina y su amante Tomás diciéndole a Martina él es de lo peor no quiero que lo veas ni le hables jamás. Día que pasaba Tomás por ahí, de muerte le amenaza que no quiere más. Si vas a visitarla, ya te ha de pesar. Quisiera usted asustarme, le contesta Tomás. Martina era la joven a quien tanto el amor, la linda rancherita que crió Don Pascual. Y cuando voy a pasar a Tomás por ahí, se haría tirar granitos a su pavo real. Tomás en una tarde montó su alazán, a ver a su Martina le dice Tomás, amado con un mauser salió Don Pascual y de un tiro fatal el ranchero cayó. Llegando su Martina, le dice Tomás, te cuelgas a tu cuello este medallón, no olvides de rezarle por mí más y más, y pídele también por tu padre el perdón. Martina era la joven a quien tanto el amor, la linda rancherita que crió Don Pascual, Y cuando vi a pasar a Tomás por ahí, salí a tirar granitos a su pavo real. Qué triste suena el doble, será por Tomás. Y allá atrás la muralla está Don Pascual, oyendo la campana doblar su compás. 
mirando tras la reja que va a un funeral. Martina va llorando su amargo dolor, también al funeral entre la multitud, rezando a su medalla le pone una flor, al hombre que su amor le labró su ataúd. Martina era la joven a quien tanto el amor, la linda rancherita que crió a Don Pascual, y como ya no pasa Don Tomás por ahí, por falta de granitos murió el pavo real. The music and the songs associated with a part of our culture that is made up of music uh, are a way of continuing not only the history, a lot of the beliefs, a lot of the family life, and just a lot of the traditions that also make up culture, to keeping that alive. I don't I think you would have much of a culture if you didn't have music and if you didn't have songs that are composed of music and poetry coming together to tell a story. And without those stories, you wouldn't have much of a culture because as Sabino Libarri, another well-known personality at the University of New Mexico used to say, if you forget your past, then where is your future? And the songs are what helps us to keep alive the things that we remember about our past and our present into the future. <laughs>